For the tangent, I'm going to use the other derivation or the other identities we have. So we know that tangent through the quotient identity is the sine of the function over the cosine, which I'm going to rewrite using the identities for um, sine and cosine, the sum identities, as this equation right here. So I'm just using the identities we previously used. All right, I'm going to do some strange manipulation. Well, I'm going to multiply by the value of 1, but a specific 1 as 1 over the cosine of x times the cosine of y over the same value. Essentially, I'm dividing every single term by those terms. So this is going to be equal to the cosine of x sine of y all over the cosine of x sine of x. Oh, sorry cosine of y plus the cosine of y sine of x over the cosine of x cosine of y and then do the same thing in the numerator sorry it's going to take me a minute All right, and let's cancel out the things we can. Um, everything's a factor with these fractions, so the cosines will cancel out um, there. Here, the cosines of y will cancel out. Here, everything will cancel out, and that will just equal 1, and we'll work from there. Well, on top here, we have the sine of y over the cosine of y, which we can rewrite as the tangent of y plus the sine of x over the cosine of x, that's the tangent of x over 1. And I can separate out these. I have the sine of x over the sine, or, sorry, cosine of x times the sine of y over the cosine of y, which are, again, tangent functions. So that's equal to tangent of y plus tangent of x over 1 minus the tangent of x times the tangent of y. Now, we normally see this written a little bit differently, just ordered, but it's the same function. And there you can see it's a strange derivation, but I just used the sum and difference or the sum identities for sine and cosine. Um, I used the quotient identity, and I just multiplied by a very um, different form of 1 than we're used to.